how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be doing the prediction show for Richmond. But first we have to talk about last week at Darlington. Darlington, I would not have expected the winner. Martin Truex Jr., he did amazing. So did Ryan Newman, he finished eight. And he, he led a bunch of laps though. Nobody would have expected that. I actually thought as he was leading all those laps that he probably would have won. Unfortunately though, he didn't quite win. But that would have been awesome if he had. Also, if you didn't notice, I'm filming in my garage. That's where there's a bunch of junk behind me. We saw not in much of an exciting race last week at Darlington. It, I thought it was going to be a lot more exciting, a lot of wrecks, a lot of cautions. There still was like nine cautions, but it wasn't like last year, caution after caution after caution. It was pretty just, we, we had a restart, we raced for a little bit, and then we might have had another caution. It wasn't excessive like I was hoping because those are the more exciting races that gets fans wanting to see the races. But Martin Truex Jr. won, that was awesome. And Elliott Sadler won the Xfinity race. Now it's time for us to move on to talk about Richmond. Richmond this week, I know I'm filming this late, so I won't use any of the information that I had last night of Kyle Busch winning the Xfinity race. I won't use any of that. Denny Hamlin had the pole. I am supposed to use that information. But Richmond is a fast track. I call it you know, the mix of Talladega and Bristol, I think is pretty much what Richmond is. Because Talladega is like a super speedway and they have the start finish line at a different area of the track from where it normally is. Same as at Richmond, it's like at the start of the turn, not like midway. Like Talladega, it's at the end of the turn, but at Richmond it's at the start of the turn. So I call it the mix of Bristol and Talladega. Also, it looks a lot like a super speedway. So that makes for a lot of exciting races. Obviously super speedway racing is exciting, but this is not a super speedway. It just kind of looks like one. But we saw Denny Hamlin, he got the pole yesterday at Richmond. So he's done pretty good here in the past. He's won, I think the 2010 race, but he's won some races there. It's made for exciting. He's done really good there. You can always expect him to do good. And that's, he's one of the drivers I'm really looking for to do good tonight at Richmond. Another driver, obviously, Carl Edwards. You can look forward to win at Richmond. He won here in the spring. He won back in 2013. He's won, I think, a few other times here, but I'm not sure. So you can look for Carl Edwards to also do good here. Kyle Busch, like I said, he can do pretty good here. He won. I know I'm not supposed to use this information, but he did win the Xfinity Series last night. But I'm not going to use any of that information. He won there in 2012, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. So yeah, he's won there a lot. But yeah, he's won four times there. And he's won so many Xfinity races there. So I think, though, I know Kyle Busch. I said all of his goodness. But whenever I predict Kyle Busch, he doesn't win. So I think I'm going to go with Denny Hamlin because he has the pole and because he's won there in the past. Denny Hamlin's going to win tonight. Who do you guys think will win? Put that down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay strong, guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later.